have this themes without having to pay extra money. So I'm just going to hit into install. And there we go. I'm going to hit now into install and activate now. Astra themes need to be active for you to currently install plugins here. So this is the part what I wanted to just get started with the install once again. And once again, here are all the elements that I can choose. Once again, I don't want to focus on the one that says premium. Just focus on the one that appears uh, totally for free. So there you go. Here is the part which you want to choose to get started with the editor of your logo. You don't have a logo, you have to worry about that. I'm going to hit down to escape and continue. And I can change the colors if I wanted to. Let's say that these are my default colors. And I'm going to hit now and scroll all my way down and choose continue. So one last step, I needed to add my first, my working email. You are a beginner or an intermediate. This is for uh, myself or my company. And you want to install an active Astra theme. This is really important. If you wanted to input with it, that's totally up to you. Content, I don't think that's uh, really important. But what is really, really important is to install and activate the Astra theme into your custom website. So uh, just wait a few seconds here until the website has been now built. Let's go with view your website. And this is how it should be looking my sample page. So there we go. So what is left to be done is now to customize our actual theme. Let's go into customize here. This one should be bringing us now into the editor of the actual WordPress. But now we are inside the theme that we have just generated or downloaded with the actual Astra. This is why I left to download stuff directly from the plugin section of Astra. So there we go. So as you can see, it's actually not looking that bad. So as you can see, active theme, install theme, previewing Astra, theme details. I'm going to hit now into customize. And this is the part which you wanted to just get started with the actual edition website. For example, deleting the logo of Astra and add yours. Uh, editing here, this clicked of the enroll now, let's say for sign up and just change everything that you wanted to. So this is how guys we can install and start to customize your actual website. I'm not going to be focusing a lot into how we can just use all the elements because uh, everything's actually really, really easy to get started with since we are already here into the editor of the actual WordPress. Just remember that you can download, you can use WordPress to download your actual themes that you have downloaded directly from Astra and import them right in here into appearance, go into themes and I'll scroll all your way down until you want to find out the add new and just import the file that appears that you have downloaded from Astra. Or you can just install the starter templates that was generated for the actual Astra directly into your plugins. Go into plugins, install your plugins, go into the starter templates and choose the one that best suits for you. So with that being said, guys, we have not reached the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing tools here of the actual WordPress app. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And hopefully I can see you next time.